it is officially 617 days since i've been back to botswana and i am missing home i'm missing africa i'm missing home Right. Sure, let's kill him <sighs> Guys, before I begin, this is not a comparison video between Botswana and Poland. So please don't come to the comments saying stuff like, oh, but if you miss it so much, then go back to your country. Or if you don't like Poland, you guys know I love Poland. I love it here. I'm always sharing videos about how much I love Poland. And if I didn't love Poland, I wouldn't still be here, right? <laughs> Anyway, guys, I just want to talk about the few things that I really, truly miss about being back home. The first thing, of course, being um, missing my siblings mostly. I miss my siblings so much. And even though um, it's very normal, like many people ask me, especially during the holidays, I spent my holidays with Polish people only. So the one question that I get is, um, don't you miss home? That's what actually inspired me to do this video. And I'm like, you know what, actually... I don't I don't miss people that much I miss being there you know I miss annoying my siblings I, I miss fighting with my sister you know I miss those kind of little moments that's when I realized that damn actually I miss home <laughs> mention friends but the truth of the matter is 90 percent of my friends also live abroad this is one thing i always tell polish people when i meet them here when they ask me how did you find yourself in poland guys studying abroad is very very common where i come from at the end of high school um for example if you get like super good grades the government can actually sponsor you to go and study abroad um many of the people i went to high school with many of them um study in south africa now um, some in the UK, um, Canada, and there's Neo who found Poland. <laughs> I'm literally the only one who found themselves in Poland. Many of my uh, of my um, schoolmates found themselves in the UK. Like they have a whole community, and it's so nice to see like many people that I went to high school with just being all in the same place. But yeah, I found myself in Poland. Oh, some also go to China and Russia. Um, one of my closest friends lives in China, and one in Russia. The government of Botswana and the government of Russia and guys this was before everything that happened with the war boo, 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 boo. like this was before all of that um the government of Botswana and the government of Russia they had a partnership and students found themselves in Russia for many 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 years and also Ukraine and the few friends who I have left in Botswana they also aspire to leave the country so they study for example their bachelor's degree and then when it gets to master's level they actually intend to leave the country to pursue their studies abroad so yes guys the living abroad thing it's very normal and of course to younger polish people it's normal to them but i'm speaking based on the fact that i spent my holidays with older people you know older people older polish people and to them it's like what you moved here at 17 literally guys this one old <laughs> one old polish uncle he literally asked me over and over again how old were you and i tell him in polish nasce. and he literally sat down guys for 30 minutes he was repeating the same thing nasce. you moved here at 17 alone i could never let my kids do that so i just had to constantly explain to them that it's very normal it's very very normal where i come from for children to study abroad another thing i miss about home is you know just missing milestones in you know my family members lives milestones in my friends lives you know when you leave life doesn't stop you know life just goes on and if there's a wedding being planned the wedding goes on you miss it because you chose to live abroad um recently my little sisters graduated high school I couldn't attend their graduation because I chose to live abroad. You know, um, I've had friends who've had babies and I've missed baby showers. I've missed weddings. So yeah, that's one of the things that I miss about being home. But on a lighter note, I also miss the food. <laughs> Not 
nothing compares to our food nothing compares to our food and a lot of polish people agree because i cook um my home food sometimes and they're like there this is nice and i'm like exactly now imagine eating that almost every day <laughs> Yes, guys, I absolutely miss the food. I miss the snacks. Oh, I think we have the best snacks in Southern Africa. Like, oh my goodness, what do you mean you don't have biltong readily available in your shelves? What do you mean you don't have cheese curls? Hmm? What do you mean that you don't have Romani creams, biscuits? What do you mean that you don't have Simba chips? What do you mean that you don't have Mexican chili flavored chips? <laughs> But yeah, anyway, I should say I definitely miss the food and the snacks from back home. There are some stores over here who sell um, some African products, but I haven't seen, man, like I haven't seen those specific snacks that I have from home, you know? I think there's a store in Berlin, but their prices are tripled and so much that I'm like, you know what, it's fine. I'll just wait for the next time I go home to eat all these snacks and maybe buy some to come back with to poland other thing that i miss guys this should be rather obvious the weather hmm. the beauty about the weather in botswana or rather so southern southern africa at large is the fact that even in winter we have sunshine you know over here if it's winter <laughs> yeah the sun will shine but it's still cold right back home literally guys you can have two seasons in one day that's exactly how it is for example our winter maybe gets a bit strong around june july i can wake up in the morning be wearing a heavy jacket by 11 a.m to like 4 p.m it's hot enough for me to actually wear a sundress and then i change back into winter clothes in the evening because it gets colder around the evening and the early morning but yeah i definitely miss the weather i miss basking in the sun i miss just you know enjoying um the weather <laughs> then guys i miss the people of course top of the list of the people that i miss are my family oh not the sun pulling through just after i spoke about the weather um wow <laughs> anyway i miss the people you guys i just miss the humility the warmness of the people the sense of humor oh my goodness if you have ever interacted with people from southern africa then you'll know everything is a joke to us okay everything is funny like we we just you know we don't take life as seriously as people here take it you know like it's really not that deep you know i just miss being able to have a random conversation in public transport with someone i know i'm never ever gonna see again you know i just miss that that sense of community that sense of you know if you know you know if you know you know yeah i definitely miss that and i must say i'm um, living in poland for this long has definitely made me more reserved i've become very i don't know man um i've spoken to some other people who live here and they say it has also done the same thing to them I've become more reserved and I also noticed this the last time I went home um you know when you interact with especially older people um they expect you to of course greet them and then if they start a conversation with you you have to go along with it you know even if it's a stranger even if it's someone you don't know and I experienced that when I went back home I was finding it weird when um a stranger speaks to me and i'm like oh girl you're in botswana now you're no longer in poland this is normal it's okay it happens so much that this i, I did an internship at a law firm in botswana for just a short period of time and i remember one of the old ladies she came to me and she's like when i was like <laughs> and i was like so basically when people would be interacting people would be chatting i would usually just be quiet so she said you're not used to speaking with people and i was like actually hmm, yeah and then i just explained to her that i've lived and studied in poland and this is how it is and she's like i can tell because you should be like when like after you greet after you say hello you just keep quiet and i was like if only she knew that even for that hello to come out i had to go through <sighs> but yeah anyway that's just it about it guys i miss the people i miss the humility the sense of humor their joyfulness i miss that so much 
So yeah, guys, that's that on that. If you are eager to see a glimpse of my life in Botswana, do check out the playlist called Botswana Vlogs on my channel. And um, if you are an expert also living not only in Poland, but in another country, do not hesitate to drop down in the comment section so we can all just vent and cry together. <laughs> Anyway, guys, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll definitely see you in the next video. Bye.